Twitching. Y'all twitching? Get back to twitching I'm before somebody get to twitching. I plan to get murked like oh, yeah. that. And get loud that. Ah, you dead. Yeah, you're right. Bro, I was slapping. Yeah, for real. On your live stream. One rapper checked the streamer for dissing his dead brother. And NLE Chopper almost smoked the streamer for stealing his money. These are rappers who check YouTubers and streamers. And we gotta start off with Mayno, because Mayno is an older rapper. And a YouTuber named Booba tried joking around with Mayno like he could beat him up and take his chain, because Booba goes up to Mayno to interview him. Mayno lets Booba know not to say anything crazy, since he is already not in the best mood. But Booba starts the interview off by talking crazy, since he said his objective is to snatch some chains. I came over here. Like, right now, don't say nothing crazy though. Nah, I'm, 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 I'm just saying, like, I came over here. Like, my objective over here today was to, you know what I'm saying, snatch some chains. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I already. You should snap, try that. No, nah, I'm saying, you I already. Should really I, try. I, I, Booba keeps joking around. So Mayno goes on to ask him if he wants his moment, since he doesn't chill with all the trolling. That's when Booba starts stuttering and continues asking crazy questions. Wait, why, why, so why they keep looking at me like that? Like, they're making me feel a type of you way. Want, you want your moment, right? Huh? You want your moment, right? Wait, wait what you mean you gonna get it. No, 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 I guarantee you gonna get it. No, not like that, I'm just saying I like. I guarantee you gonna get it. on everything I love, so, so, you gonna get I, your moment. All right, so wait, so let me borrow be your nice. chain. Let be, me borrow your chain. Be nice. I can't be borrow nice. your chain? You can, nah. I can't borrow your chain. You wanna borrow my chain? Yeah, let me let, let me borrow it. Let me let me put on your chain so I can see how it feels. Mayno warned Booba multiple times to chill out, and you could easily tell he was getting annoyed since Booba was wasting his time. But that's when Booba asked Mayno a question about how bad he would whoop him, and that's when things went left because he does this next. All right, look, look, quick question, What's right? Up, now Hold we, on, now right, look, look, quick question, right? On a scale of one to ten, right? How badly, right? Think I could like beat your? Oh, 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 and while doing that, you could hear him say to Booba, didn't I tell you not to play with me? You have to be careful when playing with some people because everyone doesn't have the same sense of humor. And streamer Aiden Ross had to learn this the hard way because one day he decided to link up with Moneybag Yo. While they are together, Aiden is freestyling with Zayas and Moneybag and everything starts off smooth. Moneybag is vibing and trying to show Aiden how to freestyle. Just look at my wrist like, wait, like, Aiden then tries pranking Moneybag, so he says something sus to him during the freestyle. That's when Moneybag looks confused and tells Aiden that he's BSing. Just look at my wrist, I got time today. Moneybag, you looking so fine today. What? Yeah, pull a wine to red. I got blue on me. Man, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Like Moneybag was dead serious and not rocking with the sus jokes since everyone doesn't like joking that way. So Aiden asks for one more chance and he starts freestyling on another beat a few seconds later. But this time, he says some more off the wall stuff to Moneybag later into the freestyle. But Bag lets that one slide. Dead serious. Okay. I will do it again. I got you. I got you. One more chance. That's all I ask. Not again, bro. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right, I got you. I got you, I got you, I got you. Come on. Oh, I didn't mean to say that either, bro. Money bag, you going crazy, sir. I like it. I compliment you because you are killing it. You're gonna have to buy me a purse, but not that's a purse. Wait, stop. wait, 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 I mean, wait, wait, wait. Aiden then asks for one more beat and does the same thing again. And this time, money bag swings at him to make him chill out with all of those weird jokes and walks out since he doesn't play around that way. Give me like, just give me something quick, like uh, come on. says I was a jet. Grab a toothpick, grab it, twist it, like it's a Oh, 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 hey, hey, wait, 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 no, no, but that ain't nothing, because this next rapper completely went off on a streamer for trying to steal some of his money. One day, Aiden Ross was doing a big stream, and he decided to bring I Show Speed and Izzy Prime on his stream, since he was going to have NLE Chopper and his friends there. During the stream, NLE Chopper and everyone were dancing since the views on the stream were going crazy. But in the middle of dancing, NLE Chopper and one of his rapper friends from Memphis named Lil 100 started throwing money on speed to hype things up even more. That's when the streamer Prime started picking the money up off the ground and 100 and Chopper tell Prime to put the money down. And they need all that back since it's their money. <laughs> Well, Honey keeps telling Prime to put all his money back on the ground since he had no business picking it up. And that's when things start to get heated because Prime gets mad saying he didn't touch their money. Oh, 
fight, but uh, hey, man, I'm making my money out of the fight. I don't got money in my pocket, bro. My money now and make it <laughs> Everyone then starts laughing at Prime while he's getting checked. That's when Prime tells 100 that he's from the south side of Chicago. But 100 lets Prime know he doesn't care where he's from and he doesn't play about his money. I'm about oh, get out there and get the strip. I ain't got out of no jail. How many times you want me to tell you that? I ain't been to no jail. You want me to tell you that again? So, Grace, you talking about? Yeah, all right. I don't play about my money. Y'all back to twitching? Get back to twitching. Prime then tries saying something else, slick to him. But that's when 100 walks up and checks him again. So, Prime sat down and stopped talking for a minute since he could tell that 100 wasn't playing. Back to twitching. I hate it. I hate it. After 100 kept talking about it, Prime then said it was nothing but $40. But 100 let him know that it was about the principal, since the main reason he was mad was due to Prime picking up his money off the ground without even knowing him. Hey, yo, $40, shorty? Hey, yo, I don't what it is. What it's is the that? principal. I don't play about my money. Enough, don't even put no money Like I said, in $40? And I got a pocket full of money. I don't give a yeah, what it is. Right, I, 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 what it is. Right, bro. Oh, boy. It's y'all talking about me, bro. Y'all talking about me, bro. Get back to twitching before somebody get to twitching. 100 tells Prime to get back to streaming before someone gets to twitching, since he was letting Prime know that he'll really take things there. That's when things heat up even more. Hey, Shorty, I'm Shorty, 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 Everyone tries to calm things down since they know 100 is dead serious. Prime eventually leaves due to what 100 did to him. I don't even want to be in a room, shorty, because I'll be Easy. Oh, we both ain't. Cause I don't know. I, I don't know who no people think I am. Thankfully, Prime left before things got too bad because 100 was willing to take it there. But that isn't the only time someone checked Izzy Prime. In August 2023, Aiden Ross started talking with Charleston White, and fans were rocking with the two. So Aiden planned a trip to Vegas for him and Charleston. Prime was also invited since he and Aiden are close friends. During the trip, Charleston and Prime constantly had small disagreements with each other. But while they were out to eat, that's when things took a turn because Prime. Prime calls Charleston White Rainbow due to something that he had done in the past. Charleston then asks Prime why is he worried about what he does with his Jimmy. Why are you worried about it though? Prime, oh, we're just asking. Charleston then asks why Prime even jumped in the conversation if Aiden was asking him a question. question yes. This man is just yes. asking me a straight up question. Yes. This yes. come jump in. This yes. come jump in. This yes. come yes. jump in and go to talking on my yes. but I'm what you talking about my for? What you talking about my for? You. Prime then gets pissed and lets Charleston know that he's not playing with him. Charleston tells Prime that he's not playing with him either, and the two continue arguing for a few more seconds before things take a turn. I ain't playing with you. I ain't playing with you then. You. Charleston then starts calling Prime all types of names, since Prime called him Rainbow. Prime tells Charleston to watch how he talks to him, so Charleston then stands up over Prime, asking him what he is going to do, since he wants to act so tough with him. You in the my no, though, no, but I'm you not. in the my no, though. Watch how you talk. You watch how much you want You. You came and jumped You ain't gonna do that. You gonna do that. You better get that what you gonna do? You gonna get your knife? <laughs> I know what you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I'm gonna go to Once Charleston starts checking Prime, he asks Aiden to get Charleston away from him since he didn't want to risk getting maced or poked up by Charleston. And I'm gonna spray it too. Keep talking. I'm gonna spray it like you gonna do something. You ain't gonna do a motherfucking thing. Charleston then lets Aiden know that he's going to leave the stream since Prime wanted to be the center of attention before he had to do something to Prime. Prime then went live on IG after the situation took place. Since people were saying he ruined the stream, and he said the only reason he didn't touch him was due to him having the mace. You can go watch it. He stood up over me because I called him, and he he like you a punk. And I was stood up. All I did was stood up. Then he he got the mace. When he got the mace, that's the threat. I'm like, bro, I ain't did shit to your. 
Then, not long after that, fans found out that Aiden and Prime had called the police on Charleston White to have him removed from the hotel since they didn't want Charleston actually harming Prime. But they pressured me by being a snitch and oh. he been blowing your all day. And he like calling cops, what kind of He been blowing me a year, man, been blowing me, then call the police on me. Yeah, Prime and call the police on me, so I threatened him with weapon, man. Now, let's move on to Neon, because Neon is a streamer who always acts tough online and talks crazy. Until one day, he ended up running into one of the people he was acting crazy towards and got checked. Because Neon kept doing a disrespectful drill dance named Naughty Bop that makes fun of a 14-year-old rapper who got stabbed in a train station in New York. And the dance was created by Naughty's Ops to disrespect him. Fans told Neon to chill while doing the dance multiple times, since he isn't from the streets and shouldn't be making fun of the dead. That's when Naughty's brother, Didi Osama, saw a clip of Neon and asked him if he could stop disrespecting his dead brother. But Neon didn't listen. So one day, Didi got Neon's location and tried jumping Neon and his manager. Neon! Neon ended up getting away to avoid getting hurt, but three months after the incident, Neon bumped into Didi and made him apologize for doing the dance, making fun of his dead brother. Listen, listen, I just want to tell you this, baby boy, like, you, like, you don't know where I come from. Like, yeah. you, you not from the streets, baby boy. Like, you, you's really, like, you was really a nerd, baby boy. You was really a nerd, baby boy. I'm trying to tell you, like, look, you good? look, 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 I'm not trying, I'm not trying to say nothing yeah. about you, but like, you're not from the streets, babe, boy. Neon was scared, and his security guard was on standby, since they didn't want Didi doing anything to Neon. But he let Neon know he didn't want to hurt him. He just wanted him to apologize, since he's dissing someone he doesn't know. Because, like, you know my heart, like, my mom be on the gram watching. I want to apologize. That's her too, bro. It's not, it was not right what I did. You gotta, you gotta apologize to my mom, my fans, my everything. It's oh. not even about that, even my heart. It's just about. It's a, you're not even in the streets to be even I didn't, I, It was, was back in the day. I didn't realize what like, I was doing, bro. Yo, woo. It's not even, yo. Why are you not paying attention? So I'm, like, I'm nervous, you know how bro. I feel right now. I feel like slapping the shit. And that wasn't the only time Neon got checked by a rapper. But this time, things were way worse. This time, Neon was out doing a stream with Ruby Rose. And at some point during the stream, they went to the studio. And while they were in the studio, Inali Chopper pulled up. And this is when things got tense. Chopper was pissed at Neon since some of Neon's fans got Chopper's show canceled and caused him to miss out on money. That's when they cut the cameras off. And Chopper lets Neon know that he messed up his concert. So he owes him the money he would have made from the show due to that happening. Hey, bro, you one of my shows, bro. Your show? Yes, no. Wait, what did I do? You was outside or something. I was supposed to be And then they seen that you was on live and they raided the whole hotel and the whole show got canceled. Then you swatted. No I way. You got it swatted on God could even. <laughs> I was supposed to get paid a bag too, so you look, he owed me some money. And as they were driving away, you could hear Neon's security guard say that one of NLE Chopper's partners up the Draco on Neon's people. Since they were pissed, they lost a lot of money with the show getting canceled. Big black thing that was in the room with you, the heavy one? What our Draco? Come here, Sneeko. I can't, I, I didn't say bye. And Neon might need to stop linking up with rappers because there's no telling how far some rappers will go if he gets their show canceled or trolls their dead people. But Neon isn't the only streamer who got checked by a rapper for dissing the dead. Because Sneeko was streaming one day and listening to the New York drill. And while rapping the song, he disses a dead person from New York named Jay Rip. So one day, New York drill rapper C Blue linked up with Aiden Ross. And they were doing a jail stream. Sneeko was also there. So once C Blue noticed Sneeko, he instantly checked him for dissing Jay Rip and made him apologize for speaking on him. You on the internet dissing my homies. Oh, oh, oh I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need a personal apology. Just apologize, bro. Real you did He's talking about me. Talk about me. For me, person, I got tatted right here. For me, 13 year old man's I lost. For me, to the street. I just need a apology. For me. I didn't diss anybody. Yeah, you did. Who? You said um, you were singing a song. For me, you say you were smoking on J Rip type. I already right after I said that, I apologize. All right, I bet. You saw yeah. it in the clip. No, 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 I didn't. I Thankfully, C Blue handled the situation in a mature way and didn't flash out on Sneeko. But I can't say the same about the next person because YouTuber prankster White Dolomite saw Boosie while he was shopping in Walmart and tried acting tough with him since he knew that it'll go viral. But things didn't go as planned for the prankster. Dolomite pulls up on Boosie and his crew and tells Boosie to hand him something off the shelf in a racist way. Boy, I said hand it to me now. Boy, I'm the real bad 
catching the boy. Boosie was confused at first, since he couldn't believe what was going on. And his crew tried telling the prankster to chill out, since they'd really do something to him. Seconds later, one of the dudes with Boosie smacks the prankster up, since he was going too far. Dolomite then calls the cops on Boosie and his people and tries getting them arrested since they hit him. Dolomite tried pulling the same prank on T.I. and Trey the Truth because they were out working on something. Dolomite pulled up on them and started talking to them in a racist manner. Here, stop taking these pictures here, boy, in my building. Hey, what are you guys doing here, boy? You, are you Lord. You could tell everyone was confused. And that's when he grabbed the prankster by the neck and let him know that they don't play with any of the racist jokes. What's this, boy? Ain't nobody yeah, boy, man. Dressed like Bob the Builder. What you talking about? Boy, what you, you say, boy? Well, no, it's, it's a prank, bro. Hold on, man. But it's a prank, bro. But we don't it's play with the boy with the it's racist prank. stuff. Trey then lets Dolomite know that he needs to find another way to try and go viral, since the racist stuff is going to end up getting him hurt. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, I don't know what you trying about to do, it, go vibe. I, I, I'm, I'm, we, we, we on positive vibe. It's a prank, it's a joke. Look, man. if this how you trying to go vibe, bro, that's hurt out here, man. No, it's you can't come. Hold on, bro. And I ain't nobody's boy, man. <laughs> go about your business, man. It's, What's it's, your name? White Dolomite. This ain't the way to go about it, bro. Now, let's move on to Quando Rondo because a YouTuber named That Boy Q was in the mall testing people's diamonds to see if they were real. He ran into Quando and wanted to test his chain, but he wanted to pull a camera trick on Quando, so he turned the tester off to make it seem like Quando's chain was fake. And Quando felt some type of way about this. Test my chain. Are you diamond test your chain? No, it ain't doing that, is it? <laughs> My little brother, clown, man. <laughs> no, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Huh? The guy lets Quando know that he's trolling, but Quando warns the YouTuber that he could get murked for playing that way. Got that fake <laughs> diamond test. <laughs> <laughs> nah, y'all. Nah, 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 but y'all playing get murked like oh, yeah. that. After Quando said that, the YouTuber stopped talking and agreed with Quando. You could tell his whole energy changed after he was checked for doing that. And you gotta be careful with who you invite over to your house. Because streamer Jack Dorothy decided to invite Rich the Kid and some of his people over to do a rapper-streamer collab. While Rich the Kid wasn't the one who pressed Jack, one of his partners did. Because Rich's partner's girlfriend ended up losing her expensive hoodie in Jack's crib. So Rich the Kid's partner started pressing Jack since he was pissed about his girlfriend losing her $1,000 hoodie. <laughs> I was, every, I was on watching the whole time. That's my point, so take the out there. Because now is not the time to fight. Bro, what are y'all playing? Bro, that, my that. Mark's hoodie is the the left. Like, gone. Bro, what? Yeah, what? Are you good? Are you lost? You good? No. Her is missing. What you mean? He ain't playing either. Play it's not a game. Well, somebody fucking. Jack was scared and confused, and Rich the Kid homie forced Jack to leave the room and try to go find the hoodie, since he said if he didn't find it, he was going to slap him. Figure out who did! Bro, there's figure no way you're pressing so you about the hoodie. There's no way. Figure it out. There's no way. Figure it out. It sounds like you took the hoodie. Yeah. I know you're reacting like that. Bro, I will slap you. I don't know. Yeah, for real. On your lobster. Things don't stop there either, because after the hoodie situation, Rich the Kid took one of Jack Dorothy's friend's car keys and drove off in it to disrespect them, since they were pissed about the missing hoodie. And that ain't the only time Jack had problems with the rapper, because one day, he had the Island Boys at his house. They were arguing with each other, and one of the Island Boys swung at Jack, since Jack was talking hard to him. Now, let's move on to NBA Youngboy's homies D-Dog and Who Gang D. Because D-Dog and Who Gang D were walking down the street when a YouTuber came up to them with a camera and said this to them. I'm a real street. What up? Real street. D-Dog and Who Gang D ain't know what was going on. And then the YouTuber says, I like your chain. What that mean? What that mean? I'm the original chain I'm the original chain snatcher. All right. I'm a real street. D-Dog and Who Gang D started walking off, but the YouTuber started following them. That's when D-Dog let him know he'll smoke him right there in broad daylight. Hey, no, no, much love, much yeah, love. You won't, you won't, you won't no. Oh, no, God bless you. you, won't, you, won't, you won't Martin Luther King. King. Bro, I love you, brother. No, I'm not a comedian. And D-Dog is the last person a civilian should try and mess with because he was arrested for murder at 14 years old. 
Not too long ago, he was charged in an attempted murder case because when the cops tried pulling him over, d Dog got into a high-speed chase that ended with him crashing and killing his homie, who was in the passenger seat. Police found guns and ski masks in the car, and d Dog's bail was set at an insane $19.7 million after receiving those nine new charges. So it's a good thing the YouTuber Steven Joe turned around and left when he did, because ain't no telling what would have happened if he tried to keep acting tough with him. But that isn't the only time Steven Joe messed with the wrong rapper. In another video, he ran into Chicago rapper FBG Butter and tried joking around with him. He says to Butter, free Lil J, since he knows Butter doesn't rock with Lil J. And this would make him mad. That's when Butter tells him this. Hey, Butter, dog, free Lil J, though, hey. I'm Steven then takes things a bit too far and follows Butter into the store, picking at him and asking him about Lil J. Hey, Butter. Where Lil J at? Where the f he at in jail, cool? Why you ain't take him, bring him out, dog? Why you got that man locked up? Why, that, why you got his stuff locked up? Butter asks Steven if he wants to die right then and there, since he wouldn't stop playing with him. And Steven leaves the store, since fans know Butter will really crash out. But Steven Joe ain't the only one who might need to chill with these pranks because top notch idiots almost got smoked for messing with Swifty Blue. Swifty Blue is a rapper from LA known for songs like Cuerno de Chivo and Swap for Swap with Kodak Black. But back in September 2022, a video started going around of a YouTube comedian trying to press Swifty while he was chilling in the parking lot. The YouTuber came up and asked Swifty. You chilling? Hey, bro, uh, where's the nearest subway over here? I don't know. I'm not from out here, that's why. Uh, Looks like you know a lot of directions, my boy. You trying to get dropped or what? Swifty felt disrespected, so he squared up with the YouTuber and said, what you, mean, get you look dropped? like the type of guy that wants to get dropped, my boy. What the f you mean? You know who I am? I don't care what who you mean? are, bro, but the way your image is, it looks like you're trying to get dropped or what? Better back up, bro. Better back up with all that. You know who the fuck I am? Where you from, matter of fact? Where you from? Earth. Where you, you, what? I live on yeah, Earth. Oh, hey, chill out, bro. It's a video. It's a video. It's a chill out. The YouTuber was getting pretty scared since the prank was going too far, and Swifty pulled up his strap. The YouTuber started panicking and told Swifty it was for a video. Thankfully, the YouTuber made it out of the situation without getting popped, but the whole thing could have gone left for him. Not long after the incident, Swifty went on to Cam Capone News and talked about how you never know when someone will try and check you, even if you're in your own hood. People who don't with me don't come try to try me and test me and rob. You know what I'm saying? I could be the one, you know what I'm saying? Like, getting ran up on type shit. It, it, it could happen to anybody. It could happen to anybody, simple as that. And speaking of interviews, one rapper spit on an interviewer for taking up for his op, and another rapper almost tore everything up in the interview house for disrespecting him. So click this video to see rappers who checked stupid interviewers.